In this problem, we want to find a vertex, axis symmetry, min or max, and the graph of the function. So we've got f of x is equal to x plus 3 squared minus 5. Now this is in standard form. Standard form, remember, is we got a times x minus h squared plus k. Key part on that is you got uh, x plus a number or x minus a number all to the second power. You may or may not have numbers here. Now, um, the a is whatever number is in front of the parentheses, which in this case is the invisible one. And that does tell us something. When it's positive, that means our graph is going to open up. Now, our h is going to be the number that's inside of the x and its opposite sign. So h is going to equal to negative 3. And our k is a number at the end, and it stays whatever sign it was. It was negative 5, so it stays negative 5. Now the first thing they're asking for is find a vertex. If it's in standard form, your vertex is hk, which we just said was negative 3, negative 5. The axis symmetry. The axis symmetry is x equals and then the x part of the vertex. So it's x equals negative 3. Min or max, since our graph opens up, that means we're going to have a minimum. And it's the y part. So a minimum of negative 5. Now the graph. Uh, vertex is negative 3, negative 5. Which is right here. And it's going to open up. Now, the one easy uh, point to get, if just assuming your vertex is not too close to it, is your y-intercept. F of x is equal to y, so I put y down. And to find the y-intercept, you put zero in for x. You always put zero in for the other variable. So this would be zero plus three squared minus five. Well, 0 drops away. 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 5 gives us 4. So our y-intercept is at 4. Now, you know it kind of uh, kind of opens up with a little bit of a curve. So it looks like that. The axis symmetry at negative 3. Axis symmetry is an invisible line that's symmetric to, which means after you get your right side of your graph or your left, then you can just flip it across that line, reflect it across that line, and it'll give you the other part of your graph. So our graph more or less looks like that. Now I'm happy if you plug in these into the calculator. So let's take a look at that. I'll press Y equals, press clear. I'll do a beginning parentheses, X plus 3. Closing parentheses, push the X squared then minus 5, and then graph. And that'll give you a much better graph than what I um, what I sketched here. So again, you feel free to use the calculator to come up the graph for the for the homework and for the for my tests.